Hi, and welcome to the online course titled, On Mukt, The Science and Art of Design Thinking. The course is brought to you by the School of Design Thinking. This is an introduction to the course and is about 17 minutes long. Have a pencil and workbook handy, and open your mind to learn and grow. Now, over to Arun Jain. And you seen migratory birds? How many of them fight to each other? Have you seen fighting each other? On the same tree you will find? There is a crow sitting there. Now even different species conflicts are not visible conflicts. A crow and a uh, pa parrot can live on the same tree. On the same branch where crow was sitting, parrot can come and sit there or pigeon can come and sit there. A migratory bird comes to the same lawn in which, which is occupied by the parrots and the crows of the same place. Because migratory birds doesn't have their own space defined. They come and occupy somebody else's space when they come to the new city. What happens in their mind? In no animal kingdom you find anything of this nature? No restriction? But why? Why particular? Birds are the only community. Animal kingdom, if you say dogs, cats, they will throw you out as soon as some new dog come into that locality. Any lion, any tiger. I was curious to know the answer. The only answer till now I found is it's a three-dimensional space. They operate on a three-dimensional space. Human being space operate on a two-dimensional space. And three-dimensional space is a boundaryless. So for them there is no boundaries. In two-dimensional space you put a wire and you can, you can create a boundary. And that's the expression which is used in Hindi poetry very commonly called Unmukt. Unmukt Gagan. Unmukt Gagan mein birds fly kar rahi hai wo. Hindi poetry mein Unmukt ka jikar kafi baar aayega. Bangla mein, Bangla mein, Hindi mein. Unmukt is like a boundaryless flying of the birds in an open sky, which is a, itself is a boundaryless. So when human mind becomes boundaryless, he thinks boundaryless. That's the starting of the design mind. That's the beginning of the design mind. So when I correlate design mind, I correlate that boundaryless feeling which doesn't understand the existing limitations, existing boundaries, existing beliefs, existing paradigms. That is the starting journey of a design, design mind. Differentiating design from design mind. We use, we use design over the period of time has been related to what are the products comes to you when you word design comes to us? What is the product comes to Apple, but otherwise design as a you design fashion. Fashion is the most first word come to our mind. Design cars, design products. So design relate to the products. So design and products are common linked, but there is a journey in between the. End product. Product is the end outcome of a particular thinking process which drives a particular product which is there. So now, when you look at design, the product, what else you can design? You can, de what all you can design as a, as a people when you look at it, what you can, pardon? Processes. Processes you can design. What can you design? Processes. Pardon? Message can be designed. What all can you design? design Objects can be designed. Space can be designed. Any? De design the? Beliefs design the beliefs can be designed. Mother. That's a beautiful thing. You can design the beliefs. Itself can be designed. What else can be designed? Society, society can be designed. Do you have an example of society to be designed? Any example where society has been designed in the last 500 years? It's a very... Uh, Singapore, they have designed the society. Israel, they have designed. In India, did you design anything? Any society has come up? Jamshedpur. Jamshedpur, a city has been designed. What's the Sikh community. 
I was about to come to Sikh community in last 400 years. Sikh community as a religion has been designed, not even society, a religion has been designed. Have you ever observed the Sikh religion? What was their objective? Why it was designed? Guru Gobind Singh has to fight the battle against Mughals. There is a humongous set of army. You are challenging a Goliath. Now how do you do it? Well, you don't have a starting point because neither you have financial resources nor, nor you have physical resources nor you have physical might and the tools which is there required. Now that he asked for the eldest son of the family to be given to fight as a fighter and that fighter he did a smart thing of design. He said that how do I build a confidence in them? How do you build a thinking for them? How do I design their thinking of these people who are coming from a trading community? They are not a Shatsya community. From trading community they are never a fighters. How do you build up a mindset of fighter in a person who does a trading community? If you have a simple thing that you observe, they say you create a role modeling behavior. When you want to change the thinking process, you create a role modeling behavior. In education institution, the first thing is to change the role modeling behavior. How did they change the role modeling behavior? They attach. What is the role model of the fighter, warrior? Loin. Loin is a symbol of immense power. They added in the name itself, Singh, Kamal Singh, Raja, whatever the original name was there, Rajat Singh. As soon as you add the Singh in the name, everybody becomes loyal. So his self-image has been shifted to a loyal image. Then you say, what is the outcome you want to have it? In education, IIT or IIM, we say, what is the outcome? We need to define outcome and put an outcome when we are looking at management problem, any management problem being solved. So outcome for this would be winning. What is the role of a, any army? Winning is the army. So they added Kamal Jeet Singh. Jeet in Hindi means winning. So every name has become Jeet and Singh. Now on one side you build up a moment, uh, high pedigree and high arrogance. Then other side you want to build up a humility because any army team collaboration is the next step in a management. How do you build up a collaboration part of it? They started one thing, something called Karseva. Karseva, they picked up a lowest element which humiliates you most. Is washing the floor or washing the shoes of somebody else. Touching the shoes is a different thing. Cleaning the shoes of somebody else is the lowest element of your dignity. Normally you will not do, you will say it's lower than the dignity to polish somebody else's shoes. And that becomes the karseva. And all the services are done together. If you go more scientific into the whole thing, karseva and then you have a langar, eating together. Team collaboration, eating together, same food from top to bottom, cook it together, eat it together. Other important thing, when we look at it as a corporate, we say what is most important, we always keep on saying knowledge is most important. Sikhism is the only religion which called is Guru as a Granth. <laughs> Guru Granth Sahib. So Granth, the knowledge, the repository of the good knowledge they assembled it together, the best practices of all the religions they assembled together. It's not a one religion, they have a Rahim there and they have a Kabir there, they have a Ram Ramayan there and all the shlokas <laughs> of that has been brought in there and call it Guru Granth Sahib. You go item by item, I think this is a one thing which can be designed. Normally you say religions can, religion is a very large thing to be designed. We always look at designing a product, designing a house, designing a... Similarly, if you go to Sanskrit, designing a language, one is language is a way of expression which naturally comes in human being but designing a language, Sanskrit is the designing a language. If you go, the rules of the Sanskrit is all the rules are 
well, the business rules are defined. The way you have a business rules in a corporate or a business rules in a community, you define all the business rules how to connect. After connecting, this language has given an ability to integrate, synthesize, and desynthesize. There is very few language in the world which has a synthesizing capability by you can combine three words with a business rules how to connect it. Like today when we are looking at software business, API is called. When you build up an API is called, you integrate and disintegrate the pieces together. That's what the systems are. You look at processes, how do you connect the processes? Those are the processes. Over here, language is given a capability to connect five words into one single word. And the challenge that time was to protect the knowledge that if I'm disseminating this knowledge in some forum, a guru is disseminating a knowledge he has acquired after a lot of time, he wants to preserve that knowledge, he has to encrypt that knowledge. If you observe in our shlokas, there's an encryption sitting there. The music has been used as an encryption. So some of the shlokas you can't pronounce without a, music, a musical tone. If, that, if you don't use the same musical tone, you can't pronounce that shloka properly. Musical tone becomes encryption of it. So somebody who disseminates and he wants to put his own one word, he cannot fit into that. If Gita shlokas are there, the four, four, four lines, 30, each line has eight, eight words, you can't add ninth word there. They built a built-in encryption that nobody can destroy the knowledge and nobody can add some new word. Otherwise, in the knowledge, you put a one sentence today, other person take two more sentences, another word add two more sentences, by the time it reaches to the large population, it is having a different meaning. Now, Gita, after 5,000 years, still carries the same meaning because there's an encryption built into it. It's a designing a language, designing a knowledge distribution. The knowledge which is collected at one point of time, can it be distributed in the same shape and form for 5,000 years? It's an amazing design. A product which sustained for 5,000 years, no signal, single knowledge has been sustained in the same shape and form for so long with so many generations. 5,000 means you have 200 generations because each generation is 25 years. So 200 generations, it sustained the same content without distorting the content. Can you design a food, food chain, food system in the society? These are random example I'm saying, but normally you don't think food system is to be designed. Not food, individual food item, but food system. What is the biggest issue of Chennai when refrigeration was not there? We are assuming refrigeration is there today. So our thinking process doesn't go. That major constraint of a city which is living near the equator is the heat. Anything which you keep will not survive for more than four hours. No, fermentation added. So what is your enemy? In a design thinking, what is your enemy? The bacteria? In a heat, they, they grow faster than in the cold. So as soon as you keep any food, it gets fermented. Now fermented is your, is seen as a negative element. Fermented, fermentation is never seen as a positive element. I, I don't know who has done it, but somebody has really thought through that fermentation can be positive. You mix one third lentil, which is protein, two third carbohydrates, make it nutritious. So first element of design is taken care of, it is nutritious. Because that's a food design chain. If you design it for food product in IIT or food product in any other institution and in our products of intellect, we'll know what are the five elements on which you will design it. You give a design objective. Design objective of food chain could be nutrition, variety, ease to cook, ease to digest, zero waste. These would be five elements for any design. Nutritious, variety, ease to cook, Ease to digest and zero waste or lowest waste. Yeah, taste also should be there. So sixth one is taste. So variety, variety. I have a linking to variety to be the taste. So variety of the food is like a taste. So that's what I was coming in the five elements. So because variety gives a taste because you can't have the same thing eating every day. And you observe the pattern that you have a batter which is mixed of. Lent nutrition values, and then you have 
vitamins which is vegetable so mix all the vegetable in a one sub something called sambar where child doesn't know whether he is eating ghee tori or alu or something which is bhindi which is always a concern of all the families because child have a certain habits in north india that they want to eat bhindi not ghee they want to eat something else now in sambar you don't know what is you are eating but you are getting all the vitamins which is required and then you create a recipes day one recipe of the fermentation day two recipe of fermentation day three recipe of fermentation day one recipe could be lesser fun fermentation recipe day two next level day three next level whether you say dosa uttam or idli. idli but all three have a different level of fermentation where they they churn out the best and if you look at the further simplification of object oriented programming which we talk about in our today it industry very very so common object oriented you mix a one made container of rice and have a 10 objects where you mix the two you make a tamarind rice it becomes a lemon rice it becomes a coconut rice depending on what <laughs> objects are getting mixed and you create a new recipe out of it a new variety comes out of it so these three examples i just took it that what all can be designed this is a designing a religion which is sustaining for 300 years a institution which is sustaining for 300 years vibrating designing a language designing a food chain you can, it can be extended to designing a business it can be extended to designing a process it can be extended to designing a, uh, a society designing a colony designing a uh, so whatever you can visualize anything can be designed 